Hello everyone and welcome back to the Android Programming Practice Series here on Academic Code. In the last episode we were hooking in the view components to the activity. Now we're going to go ahead and write the functionality for the application. So what we need to do is calculate the tip, package that information into the intent that we use to launch the result activity. So let's do it all inside a private helper method. We're going to call this launch result activity. And we're going to take two doubles, double total, and double tip percent. And then we're going to calculate the tip. So we'll say double tip gets total times tip percent. And we have double grand total gets total plus tip. So we have two values, the tip being how much you're going to tip your server for the service you've received, and grand total, which is your previous bill minus the tip, plus the tip. And then we're going to want to have a new intent. So we'll say result activity gets new intent, and we want to use the constructor that requires a context and a class. We'll say main dot this, main being refer main referring to this activity here. And the class is result dot class. And then we want to package some additional information into the activity as an extra. So we'll say result activity dot put extra. And we want to put a double. Oh. So here we go, oh, double, and the name that we're going to use, well, we'll need some tags, so we'll create them in just a moment, but we're adding two values, so we're adding the tip, and we're adding the grand total, and the tags, we're going to need some tags, so let's do public static final string tag for the tip. We'll do tag. And we also need a tag for the grand total. And we'll just say total is the name for that. And then we'll put these tags in here. Again, we're making them public static final variables because we're going to have to refer to these tags again when we're retrieving information from the extra in the result activity. And then we're going to start the activity and we're going to pass in result activity so that we can do just that. So this launch result activity does a lot of the work for us. We just need to use it correctly now. So all of these buttons are going to reach this on click method when they are clicked. So we need to have conditional execution of this method based on which button was clicked. Because of course if we go back into main.xml here as the rendering target loads, I'll just explain. We have three different buttons, 10%, 15%, and 20%. All three of them do different things. Well, they do the same thing, but with a different coefficient. So we're going we're gonna to have to execute conditionally. We'll use a switch statement to do that. We're going to switch on v, or v re referring to the view that was clicked. There's a method called getID, which returns the ID of the view that was clicked. And again, that's the same ID, which is here, the one that you defined as a, as a developer. And we're switching based on the ID so that we have a series of cases. If we're working with r.id.tip10, we want to do something. And we want to make sure that we're doing something different for tip15 and tip 20 here. So we'll break, 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 and of course we'll want a default case where we uh, essentially do nothing. We're just going to break here. So we need a double. This is going to represent the tip percent. And we'll start out with 0.0. .0. 
just to keep it as a zero in case we do reach this default, in which case all the values will be zero and there won't be any exceptions. But if the tip 10 button was pressed, then we want to change tip percent to 0 0.10, the decimal equivalent of 10%. And we will do the same for tip 15 and tip 20, of course, changing the decimal value to associate with the correct button. Then after this conditional execution has went through, after we've passed through this switch statement, we want to call our launch result activity method and we're going to pass in the total value, which is the value entered in this edit text here. And then we also want to pass in tip percent. Tip percent's already done for us. We need to extract total somehow. So we can get the string of the edit text by calling get text and then calling to string on that, but we need to parse it as a double. So we'll just use double dot parse double and that takes a string. Well conveniently enough we have uh, the variable et referring to the edit text. So we'll say get text that returns an editable and we'll call to string on that. So we have the string representation of the text in the edit text converted into a double because we know we're going to get a, a decimal anyway. And then we'll launch the activity using those values. Now since we haven't configured result activity to pull the values from the extra yet, we're just going to log it again. So we'll do log.d and we're going to change the tag actually. We're going to make the tag uh, much more available. So we'll do private static final string tag debug and we'll say main dot class dot get name and that's going to be the tag that we use for the main class when we're debugging so we'll say tag debug and the message well we're gonna we're gonna say two things in our output we're gonna have the tip and we're gonna say plus tip and we're going to say grand total plus grand total. I concatenated with grand total there. And we just need to reconfigure our tip calculator to take the tag that we're looking for. The tag being tip calculator. Or sorry, our tag is now changing to main. We'll hit OK there. Now if we run the application, when we do click any of the buttons, we're going to see these uh, debug outputs in our logcat and we'll be able to make sure we've configured everything correctly. So let's go ahead and run our application in the emulator here. And we will see that when we enter a value, let's say our dinner cost us, well just so we can make sure the math is correct, let's say our lunch cost us $10 and then we'll click 10% and we will see down in our our log cat here that our grand total is eleven dollars with a one dollar tip at ten percent on ten dollars so the math is right let's just verify by clicking one of the other buttons fifteen percent so we've got fifteen percent of ten percent that means our uh, our tip should be one dollar fifty and our grand total should be eleven dollars and fifty cents and there we go, we have $1.5 dollar fifty for the tip and the grand total being eleven dollars and fifty cents. So it looks like it's working and uh, we now need to implement the changes to the result activity and we'll be very close to being finished. But thanks again for watching everyone, we'll do that in the next episode. If you've got any feedback, again leave it in the comments below or if you're enjoying what you're seeing, feel free to subscribe at the little button down there. But thanks again everyone. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next episode.